So I've finished the first edition of doing my box. This is a uh, compressor silencer box which I've built for my cobalt unit. I've stripped off the outside. I've put on a quick connect where the tank output is, where there used to be controls here. I've looped the on off switch to itself because I have another one that I plug into. And I have removed the drainage valve and I've put on a quick disconnect on the opposite end. And this connects to my own quick disconnect on my box. Now my box has its own drainage valve over here. It is a full bore quarter inch ball valve. So I will get a lot more flow out of this one than the eighth inch one. It had an eighth inch hole inside of it. On the front side, which is connected via quick disconnect on the inside, I have 150 PSI pressure relief. I have two filters, two regulators set at 120 and 40 for dry service at 40 and lubricator with lubricated service at 120. It's for tools. On the inside, I have a 110 CFM 120 millimeter fan going through a baffle. This one is creating a negative pressure, so it is sucking air out of the box. And then over on this side, I have a double baffle, 90 degree baffles. So air has to go up and then it has to go left or right. And then on the inside, uh, it's full with one and a half inch foam uh, as much as I possibly could on the underside here, everywhere. So I'm going to do a before and after sample so you can hear the difference. All right, I have a spectrograph app, which tells me that my prominent frequencies are at negative 20 decibels, according to the scale, at 60 hertz, as well as at 960 hertz, which is much, many of you will know, it's the, it's the harmonic. So I'm going to go and turn her on. As you can see, it is pretty loud, so now I'm going to put it inside the box. All right, now I put the compressor inside the box. As you can see, I have the power strip over here connected to the fan as well as connected to the compressor. So when I want to turn it on, I just plug it in, flip the switch, and then I close the box. So right here I have my quick disconnect running straight to my tank. Uh, it's not visible, but down at the bottom, I do have my quick disconnect running to my external ball valve. I'll go ahead and close that. All right, and we're ready to fire it up.